people think you have to be a genius to solve these, but you really don't. Zane Lemonyan is a Rubik's Cube whiz. It feels really good to solve it. <laughs> now he's printing his passion to share with the visually impaired community. This one has four bumps. Zane is in North Kansas City School's SAGE program for gifted students. His assignment? Create something new. What if I was blind and I wouldn't be able to solve my Rubik's Cube? Zane decided to take his passion of Rubik's Cube and take that passion to create something better for the world. A 3D printer brought this Newmark 7th grader's design to life, producing tiny tiles. Each tile represented a color. So certain dots and lines represented colors on an Rubik's Cube. And then once they were 3D printed, he took them apart and hot glued them on top of an original Rubik's Cube. And he created? And a visually impaired Rubik's Cube. Feeling his way around this Rubik's Cube with eyes closed. I can feel it right here. That This is an X, this is an X, this is an X, this is an X. This puzzle provides Zane with a unique perspective. It's definitely harder. He is now feeling that challenge of trying to close his eyes to solve something that he's so good at. It's really rewarding to him, but also humbling as well. But a mystery all students can enjoy solving. This is definitely something that is more inclusive. And so just being able to create something that will give students joy and give students access um, for, all, for everybody, right? So they can all have something in common is really neat and inspiring. And just like that, there it is. Zane cracks the code. There it is. Just because you're visually impaired doesn't mean you can't do everything. With so many possible cube configurations, <laughs> Zane's figured out his solution. Access for everyone.